Um, he just put out a video because he got a, a few strikes for something similar, suppressors and I think magazines. Yep, um, so did we. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. But he showed at the end, I, I didn't even realize this, at the end of YouTube's uh, firearms rules, it says this is not, it says something to the extent like this is not a complete list of things that are not allowed. So it leaves it open for them to say, you know, whatever else. So it's just like, we never can 100% know that our video is safe, right. which, which like is a, uh, scary. Welcome back, everybody, to the CF Podcast. I am your host, Clint. We've got Kaya back with us today. What's up, guys? And I got to tell y'all, we have a very special guest, and we are very excited to bring the man, the myth, the legend, Demo Ranch Matt, here today. Hi. Glad to be here. <laughs> Welcome, dude. Yeah. Thanks. Dude, we're happy to have you, man. And so um, uh, when you said you're going to be at SHOT and we were able to set this up, I was like, no way, man. Because, you know, we have worked together but, you know, from afar. Yep. Uh, you know, you've done the uh, the running Barrett you know, or the running car, you know, kind of 50 cal stop a running car type of thing. And yep. that, that, what, that what car was that, a little Escort? I'm trying to remember. With that. Yeah, I think we did have a little little white Escort. Yeah. Um, was that the car that we did? That Dude, way? I think it was. Probably so. The, but they, what was so wild to me, it was a Barrett M82, yeah. 20, 29 inch barrel. Yep. And it took multiple hits. That thing was tough. And kept going. I was yeah. like, little, little Ford Escort, man. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, it's a good, good commercial, man. Yeah. yeah. That, was, that, was, that was bizarre. I went out and bought my wife an Escort after <laughs> yeah. that. Yeah. Like, you got to get this. Yeah, yeah, not sponsored by Ford. <laughs> but, I uh, wish. Yeah, right. But, uh, but anyway, man, it's super cool to have you here. And uh, I, th I think a lot of our viewers, listeners are going to be wanting to know too, man. Like, so Matt, Demo Ranch, dude, what got you into this like yeah i mean first of all you're you're the first you know gun tuber right to break 10 million subscribers yeah dude congratulations thanks oh, yeah. that thanks. is that is no small feat and of course doing that on a platform that doesn't necessarily like guns yeah what's that's what's crazy is back when i started they didn't care like right. there were no rules about guns and so you could do whatever you wanted everything was fine and over the last i guess 12 years that i've been doing it it's getting stricter and stricter. Right. And there were actually more time, more periods where it was super strict and they kind of laxed up a little bit and it's getting kind of strict again. But yeah, yeah, it's always interesting. Yeah. Keeps you on your toes. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, man. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. And you're talking about, you know, 12 years ago. Uh, was there a, was there a, like a gun tuber at that point that you saw that you're like, oh, yeah. yeah who was it? Uh, FPS Russia. I knew it. Oh, I yeah. I and knew Hickok, it. though. I watched Hickok <laughs> yeah. a lot too. Yeah. And, uh, but yeah, there was, when I started, it was FPS Russia, Hickok. Uh, military Arms Channel, Iraq mm. Veteran. Yep. I think Such. Such was yeah, around. Been around yeah. um, those are all guys that I like watched. And Richard Ryan, uh, yeah. he, had, he had a big channel back then. Big and back for the day. Like yeah. it was, yeah, it's, it's crazy to see where it is now. But like, yeah, I used to watch all those guys thinking, like, man, what a cool job. Did right? any of them, like, any of them specifically inspired you to get on there? Um, well, they all did a little bit, but they're also, I watched a ton of YouTubers that weren't gun related too. Mm. And so I, I kind of like, took things I liked from everybody and, and kind of made it in my own fashion. And that's yeah. kind of how I started making videos. That's really cool, man. Yeah. Um, uh, and yeah, you're, you're talking, you know, Hickok suits, you know, FPS, these are OGs. Oh yeah. You know, like, Oh man, this awesome sure. stuff. And, um, and so, and a few of them, you know, still around in the, the gun tube, you know, f sphere, of course. Hickok was know. here just this morning. I was yeah, just, yeah. He, yeah. Yep. We were, um, yeah. I saw Hickok, at uh, FN, he was checking out the FN 45 while I was shooting a review on it. Yeah. And he was just kind of looking at me like, can you hurry up so I can see this thing, you know? <laughs> and, uh, He's so, so it was tall. like, Oh He's yeah, dude, him and his yeah. son. Wow. Yep. Uh, and so was 22 Plankster. Yep. You know, he's been around for a yeah, while. Yeah, he was one too. Yeah, yep. He was the first, actually the first guy, the first YouTuber that I ever did a collab with. Oh, really? And so I flew, like that I ever like flew somewhere. So I flew to Tennessee mm -hmm. to 22 Plankster's house and Hickok came over. They like surprised me and like Hickok came oh, over. Wow. I was so nervous because I, I don't remember. I probably had 30,000 followers at this time or something. Yeah. And 22 Plankster had like 150,000 as he was huge. And Hickok had like 500,000. I mean, it was like they were miles ahead of me and i was so nervous to meet these dudes and it was right. it was cool they're, they're they're so and see this is yeah. one thing that's really cool you know when people say you know don't don't meet your heroes type of thing you know yeah and one thing that i think is really cool about this community is first of all you know we're always kind of having to like like stand our ground like and fight for our rights right but at the same time you know and because of that i think we are kind of like you know in that fight together yeah uh and we get such good people all around, man. Like I've met, you know, Grantham, yep. um, you know, uh, Alex Zedra, Brandon Herrera, and all these people that you that you see in front of the camera. That that's them. Oh yeah, 
you, you get, what you I've met a few you YouTubers who are not that. Yeah. But 99% of people, especially all the people that I hang out with regularly, and mm-hmm. they are that. Like, they, they, don't, they don't put on a persona. Maybe they exaggerate a few things. Sure. You know, to make it a more interesting video. But, like, that's who they are. Like yeah. it, and it's cool. It is cool to see that. Yeah, it, it really is, you know, and so for, you know, to hear you talk about FPS and, you know, all these other guys, it's like, yeah, dude, those are the same guys I grew up with, yeah. you know, and, and to see, you know, uh, Hickok walking around and, you know, shaking his hand and, and he's looking at Hickok me. Hickok is exactly like he is oh, on the video. Oh, yes. Like he does not even exaggerate anything. That's just him. Yep. <laughs> let me, no, look, he's just let a, me put my ear pro just in. Just a goofy good old boy, you know, and like that, that's him. His giggle, man. His giggle is yeah. so funny. Oh yeah, dude. Yeah, just, I like chuckle. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah, man. It's just everybody's favorite you know grandpa right there you yep, know yep. <laughs> but uh but dude so yeah so to hear you talk about those guys is really cool because we grew up with them was there um uh was there like a video that that you put out there like what was your first like video that you did what, do you even remember like the yeah. first video that you oh, did yeah 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 i was it was a big deal so yeah. so i actually was just uploading videos just for fun not even gun related some of them there were some guns in some of them but it was just pretty much anything that I thought was fun and I wanted to show my friends. That was the only reason I put videos on YouTube. It was back in 2006. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, probably maybe even before that. But yeah, it was 2005 or six, I think. Whenever YouTube, it was like right when YouTube started. And I started putting up some car videos and I was allowed to monetize. And so I thought, this is cool. I'll try to make some money. And so I hit monetize and like over the next couple of months, I made like 30 cents or something, you know, yeah. like it was, it was nothing, but I was like, that's kind of cool. Like it's just generating the internet's making money for me, which is cool. Mm-hmm. And then, um, my little, let's see, my, my little brother still lived at home and he had found a baby deer and he brought it home. He was like, he's driving, you know, he's, he's like 18. He was, so he found this baby deer, took it home. And my little sister and him like bottle fed it and raised it. So it was raised with the family dog and became like friends with the family dog. And my sister recorded the baby deer and the dog playing with a soccer ball. Cute little video. Right. And they showed it to me and I was like, can I put that on my YouTube? Because I make money on YouTube. I've made like, I've made like 75 cents by now, you know, big deal. I'm kind of a big deal. And I was like, this might make like 20 bucks and I'll split it with you. And so they're like, sure. So I uploaded it to my YouTube and it goes viral and it, it made, let's see, it went on Ellen DeGeneres. She put it on her show. Wow. It went on Anderson Cooper. It like went viral across Japan. It made like $3,000. It, it made, I remember I would check every morning. I would see I would see if I made like 25 cents overnight or something. Yeah. So I'd, every morning I'd check see how much money I'd make. Cause I thought it was so cool. And I'd flip it open in the morning. I'd been sleeping, wake up, look at it. And I'd made 1500 bucks overnight. And I had no money. And I was like, oh my. And I wake up my wife at like six in the morning before I had to go to school. I was in vet school. And I was like, I made fifteen hundred dollars. <laughs> She's like, what? And so, like, over the next month, that video made like three thousand bucks, and it was so cool. So then I started trying to make animal viral videos. That's mm-hmm. all I filmed. I was just filming every animal I found. Couldn't ever, <laughs> I couldn't ever get it to go viral again. You know, <laughs> right. I, but I was like, all I gotta do is just film animals playing. So I was filming hawks, and I was filming yeah. dogs, and no animals did anything cute again. So I, <laughs> I got nothing. So then I just I tried a few other things and I was like, screw it. I'm just going to film what I like. And that's I like shooting guns. And so yeah. me and my buddies in vet school would just go out and shoot guns. And I would just film it because some of us had some kind of weird guns. And then uh, it didn't really take off either. But mm-hmm. it was making like 50 bucks a month or something. And I was pumped because that was paying my Internet bill. Oh, perfect. I was like, I'm making yeah. enough money to pay my Internet bill. This is so cool. Right. And because I was in I had gone through undergrad at Texas A&M. And then now I'm in vet school. So I'm like on my sixth year of school. Like I, I don't have any money. And, uh, the first, so besides the dog versus deer videos, what we called it, <laughs> the first gun video that ever went viral was us out there. And we just got shotgun shells and loaded a bunch of weird stuff in them just for fun. We yes. just were like, what happens when you put dimes in a shotgun shell yep. and shoot it? And what, and we put thumbtacks and toothpicks and random stuff. And Iraq veteran actually shared it which I thought was crazy because he's yeah. this big name. He shares my video. Funker shared it. Yeah, yeah. And I, like, I watched those guys. thought that was really cool. And then it just went viral. I mean, viral and back then to me, it was like it got 80,000 views. And right. I was like, this yeah. is crazy, you know? And, and so it was really neat. And that's like I got a bunch of subscribers. I was getting like, you know, 12 subscribers a month. And now I was getting like 12 subscribers a day. Yeah. And so it was like it was crazy. And so that's when it like that was my big – Demolition Ranch's first big thing was 
custom sh- homemade shotgun shells is what I called it. That's cool, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I actually, I remember that video. Do you? I mean, yeah, dude. So that, that's, that's super cool because it's like, I, I watched that video way back yeah. when. And so that, that is, uh, that's really cool. And then of course, you know, later on you kind of partner with cool companies like classic firearms. Totally. And, uh, and yeah, um, that's what really took it to the next level. Yeah. Like, absolutely, dude. Yeah. Obviously, especially you're whenever you're, <laughs> especially when you torture test, um, high points. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys, oh, you guys right. sent me, <laughs> y'all sent me 11 high points. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I could have, it was just under a dozen, yeah. Yep. And, uh, and yeah, Robbie, I'll never forget this. Um, uh, he hits uh, our vice president of marketing. He's like, hey, do we have like um, a dozen high points laying around? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course <laughs> we do. Like, like, yeah, why would someone why? need that? Yeah, right? <laughs> He's like, okay, well, um, uh, you may have never heard of them, but uh, Demo Ranch kind of needs them. I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> He's up to something. Oh, yeah. God. And uh, so I was like, um, okay. So I just like, package them up and ship them. He's like, yes, do it right now. And I uh, said, okay. That was like when we were like, is this too much to ask? And we're like, they're just high points. They're just yeah. high points. Like yeah. we're asking for like a thousand bucks worth of stuff. Yeah. And, and I think this is, I think what's really funny is I think that was actually after we gave you a Barrett. Yeah. You, you guys are already giving me a Barrett and we yeah. still felt like it was kind of weird to ask yeah, for, for a high, high point, point. <laughs> for 10 high points. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, man. But that was such a cool video too. And surprising. Yeah. Dude, those things, you know, ran. I mean, even the one with like the concrete in the barrel. Yeah, or something. that's They're like tough. Man. That's yeah. High Point actually loves us, even though we're probably one of their biggest crap talkers. Yeah, because we're like, ah, oh, it's so ugly, and then we do something terrible to it, and it still runs. We're like. Well, <laughs> and they're like, yeah, keep making videos. This is yeah. great. Yeah. It's like, yeah, talk your, talk your shit and then uh, continue to continue to yeah. shoot our guns. I remember it was like four or five years ago. I never talked to High Point yeah. and we were walking through SHOT Show. And we were walking past High Point Booth, and I was kind of like, you know, put my, like, I don't, want them, I don't want them to see me because this is gonna be awkward. And the one of them was like, Matt. And I was like, Oh, hey. And they're like, We love your videos. And I was like, You do? And they're like, Yeah, it was great. We saw the torture test. I was like, I was so mean. And they're like, It was awesome for us. So I was like, Okay. I mean, that's true. Think about it. Like all those millions of views yeah. came just from you. Yeah. And they were like, pumped. The gun yeah. did look good on the video, yeah. even though I trashed it. Like they, they were like, Yeah, that was great. Keep doing that. Whatever you want to do. Wow. So yeah, they're in. Dude, that's awesome, man. So speaking of surprising, um, uh, top of your head, probably the most surprising video that you've shot. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, I got one. Okay. Uh, did you ever see the one where we were curving bullets through D- pipes? That's the oh, one that. Yeah, I yes. Saw that. that one blew yes, my mind, and it and it went viral because I didn't yep. think it would work. Dude, that um, that's the one that immediately 45. came to my mind. Yeah. So we we yeah. did two different tests in that one. One we got an AR-15 and just bent the barrel in a loop mm-hmm. to see if that would work. And then the other was a 45 ACP through pipes, but we, we were like, well, let's do something that won't work first. So we got a bunch of PVC pipes and I was like, we'll show that it breaks through there and then we'll get some stronger metal pipes and see if we can bend it through that. And it worked in the PVC yeah, pipe. The it PVC. went, <laughs> and we were like, holy, it just did a whole loop-de-loop <laughs> and didn't break through. Like that blew my mind and was very surprising. And then of course the internet loved it because it blew everybody else. Like no one thought that would happen. Oh, right. I thought it was gonna punch right yeah. through. Same. Yeah, yeah. Same. So that, that kind of stuff is super fun. I love those experiment videos where you don't know what's going to happen. Like you truly don't know. And then it, it surprises you. Yeah. So that was, that was a cool one. Yeah. I can say that for, for us. And when we um, first shot with a uh, guard dog body armor, they sent us, you know, these level four plates and I was like, okay, you know, for 150 bucks, a hundred, a yeah. level four, plate, like, dude, I'm going to punch through this thing. And so I was like, all right, cool. Let's just, let's just shoot and see what happens. So I put, um, started off with like nine mil It stopped that. Okay, cool. All right. I expect level four to stop nine mil. Okay. So then, you know, a couple of inches down, let's shoot, uh, let's just go straight into five, five, six, stop that. Okay. What about, you know, five, five, six green tip, stop that. And I was like, okay, seven, six, two, five, 39, stop that. Two rounds of 7.62 by 39, stop that too. Two rounds of 308, stop that too. And all on one plate. Yeah. yeah. And I was like. What is this? There's is something here. Is, yeah. it, is it metal, ceramic? What ceramic. It? Ceramic. Huh. It was ceramic. And so I was like, okay, screw it. So then I got out uh, the Nemo Omen 24 inch, 300 wind mag, and just laid the plate on the ground and just boom, right in the middle, point blank. And I was like, this did it. And I look at it, and it, all it did was just deform the Dent plate, it. but didn't go through. And <laughs> yeah. I was like, well, I know what I'm putting in my plate carrier. Oh, <laughs> you yeah. Know? And I was like super exp- like surprised by that, you know. And so, you know, you type, you typically expect, you know, at, at, well, typically once body armor is, you know, hit, it's kind of considered, yeah. you know, not, not defeated, but um, uh, compromised. Compromised, yeah. And so you're like, ah, oh, we'll see how long it's going to hold up. And then, no, uh, that thing, that thing held hmm. up. And, I was like, and those guys are like, they, they were doing it for like CrossFit, like some weighted vest and mm-hmm. something initially. Yeah. No. Oh, really? And they, yeah, they, they made like, them bulletproof? Yeah. yeah. And they're like, you know what? Why don't we just make them bulletproof? Yeah. Right? Is that what it was? Uh, yeah. Well, Guard Dog, I think, always had, like, kind of the intention of, um, uh, I, I know people, like, work out in them and yeah. stuff like that, you know, but I, I know they always wanted to kind of bring more of an affordable, you know, um, uh, 
affordable offering or product yeah. to the entire you know body armor sphere, which is pretty gotcha. cool. Yeah. yeah, but uh, but no, yeah, no, the curving bullet one, dude, that one even blew my mind, and uh, it's it's absolutely nuts. But kind of going back to what we were talking about before and, and YouTube. Um, you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's guys like you, it's guys like the OGs that we talked about before that ironically made, you know, the gun culture that we have today. So like popular and, and kind of the norm, yeah. right? Some people, you know, who aren't in it, they're kind of like, Oh my God, why do you, why do you need all that? It's like, well, I don't think I need it, but I do want it. And in this country, you know, we can have it. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Telling people that you can't have body armor because people who don't know, mm -hmm. they think that oh, only police and military have body armor and you can't have it. But cause some places you can't, but yeah. yeah, for the most part you can have body armor. Yeah. Yeah, and That's let's fine. Yeah, and, and talk about silencers, right? Your, yeah. Your last video you put oh out. Oh my gosh, yeah. Dude, so oh tell boy. so tell us about that video though. <laughs> like, I mean, dude, just mayhem, man. Like, so just just tell us what happened because if, if anybody hasn't seen this, uh, you need to. Because first of all, YouTube deleted the first one, right? Yeah, can deleted you, can it. You, can you tell us why? Yeah. So so for those who haven't seen it, we got uh, a what do you call it? Like a it's an I don't know. How do you, how do you, what do you talk to? It's one of those suppressors where you can um, add on It's a more, stackable baffles. Yeah, stackable baffles. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. So you can add on more baffles. And we made a video with it when it was just a normal suppressor, you know, had like nine baffles or something. Mm -hmm. And people were like, oh, that's cool. What if you hook two of them together? And I saw that comment and I was like, oh my gosh. And so I, <laughs> I text Kevin from Q and I'm like, hey, can you send us like a bunch of these? Yeah. Like, can we make a huge suppressor out of this? And he was like, yeah, sure. I'm going to send you 69 baffles. And we're like, perfect. <laughs> oh of God. course. Yeah. Of course, Kevin 69. from Q would yeah. send you 69 baffles. And hours. so he sends us 69 <laughs> baffles, and we make this thing. It's like probably four feet long. Um, you know, no one's ever seen this before. And we didn't know what it would do, so we shot it from a rest for a while, and we, like, tested it and trying to figure out if it was uh, going to have baffle strikes and all mm -hmm. that kind of stuff, which it didn't really until yeah. – once we felt confident with it, I like picked it up and walked around shooting it. And I was like bouncing the suppressor and firing yeah. it and stuff. And we baffle strike the heck out of it. <laughs> um, it was, it was pretty bad, but I mean, you could see like, especially like on the nine, was it nine or no, it was on the 22. It was like drooping at the end. Yeah. Like it, the whole suppressor is just like droopy because it's so long. Um, but we got some baffle strikes and it was great. But yeah, there's a million instances of me taking the suppressor off, looking for baffle, baffle strikes, adding more baffles on. I was just manipulating that suppressor the whole episode. Yeah. And YouTube takes it down. They're like, you can't show putting on a suppressor. And I'm like, what? And that actually is written in their terms. Um, I didn't realize that. Oh, but wow. I didn't know So that they basically it's say, well, actually, no, it, it's not exactly written in their terms. They say you can't show yourself adding a homemade suppressor to a firearm, which it's not no. homemade. Nope. But we were adjusting it at home. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And so it's, it's just one of those gray areas. And they're like, no. And they delete the whole video. But that video went viral. Like we got five million views in three weeks, mm -hmm. which is big. Yes, like that was big for us. Like we haven't had a video go that hard in over a year. Like it was, it was really cool. We're like, yeah, we made a viral video again. This is awesome. Like this video is gonna have thirty million views, <laughs> and <laughs> then they shut it down to five. And so I was talking to my rep, and he's like, yeah, you can't do that. And I was like, so what do we do? Like, can we just like blur it out? Can we get those views back though? And he's like, no. And we're like, all right, oh, cool. Man. So we just re-uploaded it with blurred black bars, all that kind of yeah. stuff, like cut out as much as we could. And it's still up. It got demonetized. So it only got, oh, it got to like a, a million views now and then it shut down. So uh, I don't course. think it's going to get many more views now, no. but yeah, the, the rules are getting crazier now. And they're saying you can't, you can't have, you can't show yourself inserting a 30 round magazine, which is like, all of my videos. Like 30 yeah. round or a any magazine? It says, it says I think it's 30 round magazines or bigger. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So they're that like, yeah, <laughs> pistols are fine, yeah. but not AR-15s with, I guess, a 20 round magazine. I don't know. It's It, uh, it makes no sense. And it's... How do they know? That's what I, I actually... I, I have a call scheduled with my YouTube rep because I'm like, how do you know? Like, there's certain guns have a full size looking magazine, but they're bigger bored. And so they only have 10 rounds in them. And 458 yep. SOCOM. Yeah. A five, seven magazine can have 30 and a thing that's yep. this big, you know, like it's, it's kind of, I don't know. Like, how do they know? Somebody said to me that, um, their, the algorithm counts the banks, right? If you fire, that would be interesting. I, I haven't ever heard that. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. I was talking to somebody about it and they're like, Oh yeah, here's it. If you fire 30 rounds, sure, it hammers so you. Yeah, so like, should we just load 29 rounds in every mag and say they're all 29 round magazines? Or what, like, what's, I just, it'd be nice if we had uh, like super clarification of the rules yeah. because, uh, do y'all know Mr. Guns and Gear? Oh, of course. Y'all ever talk to him? Mm -hmm. He's a nice yes. guy. Um, he just put out a video because he got a, a few strikes for something similar, suppressors and I think magazines. Yep, um, so did we. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Yeah. But he showed at the end, I, I didn't even realize this, at the end of YouTube's 
uh, firearms rules, it says this is not, it says something to the extent like this is not a complete list of things that are not allowed. So it leaves it open for them to say, you know, whatever else. So it's just like we never can 100% know that our video is safe, right. which, so which like is a, uh, scary. Job description. All other duties. Yes, exactly. Side. Same thing. <laughs> that's what it is. Yeah. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, you have to sweep the floor. It's like, yeah. that's not what I signed up for. It's like, well, it says all other stuff, yeah. too, so yeah. you're sweeping. Yeah, yeah. It's it's an unfortunate situation because, you know, we didn't we weren't made aware of that either. Yeah. And the one that got us is, you know, we do our giveaways. Yeah. And, uh, and obviously, you've been a part of a few of them. And um, it's like we partnered up with Huxworks, a uh, silencer company, and they make 3D printed silencers. Mm -hmm. And they, you know, I think YouTube, we, at first we thought it was YouTube saying, hey, we were saying 3D printing and silencers. That, that they thought maybe we were making the Homemade silencer. making them, yeah. Yeah, which again, isn't the case. Even the stackable baffles, you're not making it. It's already, right. it's already produced and manufactured as is. And all you're doing is actually adjusting, yep. you know, what's there. And uh, so it's like, okay. Mm so anyway, in our SCAR 16 giveaway video with the Huxworks 556K uh, suppressor, which is an awesome suppressor, um, there is a very, very clear me pulling the suppressor out of my dump pouch, flipping it, showing it off, mm -hmm. and then attach, shutting yep. it on, and then start running and gunning. Very clear. Probably dumping 30 rounds, you oh, animal. Yeah, and uh, I, think I, I think I did actually three mag changes in that good, one. Good, good, uh, good, good. Yeah. So <laughs> violations, the suppressor, the yeah. 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 mag changes, yeah. and strike, strike, rounds. strike. You're out. Yeah, yep. you're done. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's what's hard is like, you know, in my perfect world, it'd be like, well, how about it's just whatever's legal you can do. Like, let's just follow. Like, everything we do is completely legal. Right. So why would you shut down the channel? But then I understand, you know, it's it's a privately owned company. They get to make the rules. So I'm like, well, just make the rules crystal clear. Yeah. And that would that would totally make it fine. Like, if I knew that don't ever change mags, you know, back in the day, like, it'd be fine. But I just learned this three days ago. Right that I can't change a 30 round mag on video. And I'm like, so what about the 500 videos that I have made? Like, yeah. am I going to yes. get screwed? And they're like, eh, maybe. maybe, yeah, I don't know. So I'm, I'm pretty nervous. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You're not, you're, not, you're not the only one. I mean, we got our, we got, I mean, this is our third channel that, you know, if you're watching this on YouTube, this is our third channel. It's the CF podcast. And uh, we didn't want to name it, you know, technically the classic firearms podcast yeah. because there's firearms in the name. And yeah. if we do start to upload to um, um, Apple or um, uh, Spotify, Spotify yeah. Yeah, you know, then it's kind of like, uh, they got firearms in the name. Oh, yeah. I wonder what you guys are talking about. Right. You know, so it's like, what is the CF podcast? That could mean a, a whole bunch of things. Who knows? Yeah. yeah. So as long as we don't have directly firearms in the name, we might be safe. Might not be until somebody listens to it. And they're like, get these guys out of here. Yeah. Who knows? And so uh, we also have Outside the Warehouse, which is, you know, um, if, if you wanted to, we've actually got some really, like, spicy oh. treats over here. Sour. You know, if you like spicy stuff, I don't know. Spicy or sour? Sour. We have both. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I, I'm scared now. <laughs> you, you should be. We, um, we, to we totally should. <laughs> yeah, by the way, Not the door spicy. is locked. We brought you up through our suite here. You can't get out. Yep. I am not doing anything spicy. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's a lot okay. of dudes over here to prevent me from leaving. There is no way. Just, just an FYI. <laughs> so, These guys made me do one chip. Yeah. Uh, on air. Oh, you're not the only one, man. I've done the one chip like, challenge. Was it like Katie? burn for 10 minutes kind of a thing? Dude, oh, okay, it's, so. no, no, no. It burns for like the rest of the week. Yeah, and burn like, is like, it's not the biggest deal, right? I just don't it's want to burn on the backside. You know? it's the, oh, it, it'll happen. <laughs> Sorry. It's the pain. Okay, it's the pain. It's the pain. Yes, yes, like you're on the ground. Your stomach is cramping like crazy. I mean, uh, okay. I, I may have a video around somewhere uh, that someone may have taken on. Yeah. <laughs> Ryan may have gotten after Kaya was. I, I mean, I he, was hate a, you, he, Ryan. he was he was a trooper during the video. Uh, he was a trooper yeah. during the video. Did very well, but it was after we were done filming. He's dying. Oh yes, he, he was. My laying, stomach is bleeding. Yes, <laughs> under. So we've got our table. If you've ever seen our studio, we've got our table that we always shoot on top of, and underneath that, you know, there's not much under there now that we've cleaned it. And, uh, but you know, there's my a dog bed, there's a, do there's my dog's bed. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, bring my dog into the office and you know, whatever, there's a dog bed in there. <laughs> Ryan comes walking around and Kaya's just sitting there on the dog bed yeah, Dude, like, like, in the fetal position, just like, like trying to survive. <laughs> <laughs> and it was so bad for him. And I dude, almost called an ambulance. Like I was like, okay, I think I, I gotta go to the hospital. Dude, it was bad. Yeah. You, like, didn't, really you guys bad. aren't selling it. <laughs> so the one chip is not here. <laughs> no, we actually do have a one chip, but that's not the that's one that we have. We also have actually like I mean, he's just a you know, this a little spicy gummy bear. Oh, that's not bad. Yeah, he's, he's actually called Little Nitro. I don't eat gummies cute. in Vegas anymore. <laughs> <laughs> 
to learn my lesson. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Not well, that kind of gummy. <laughs> it's not that kind of gummy. All right, fine. We won't make you. We won't what make about you the sour stuff, stuff, though? Yeah, I mean, is it gonna burn a hold my tongue? I could do I some sour know. stuff. Should we do right. some? Should we do some sour no, stuff on the podcast? Fine. I mean, if y'all do it, I'll do it. Dude, I'll do a sour thing. All right, yeah, Ryan, you grab us something sour. But uh, and while while he's doing that, um, uh, while he's doing that, uh, you know, so so outside the warehouse is where we do stupid stuff like we're about to do right now. Yep. yep. I'm uh, trying trying something Ugh. really freaking sour, uh, and we have our main channel, Classic Firearms. You know, and uh, we we broke you know one million subscribers last year. That's yeah. really really good as a business to break a million subscribers. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, it's, oh, yeah. you know, it's collaborations like with, you know, with guys like you um, uh, and just partnerships and just uh, that oh looks dangerous. Gosh. Dude, yeah. what are y'all doing? Check it out. I don't know what they are. They look tasty though. It's not even open, huh? Nope. No, brand new. Do, do you, all right, uh -oh. so first of all, oh, I just, knife. I got a knife. I, I just want to go ahead and just sort of, so for everybody that's listening and not watching, I literally have a bag of blue balls on my hands. And- um, Classic, and, oh, yeah, you're in uh, Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, I do believe that uh, they're about the size of. Um, uh, are they hard or are they gummy? Scale. Oh, they're, they're hard. They're hard. What are we gonna do with oh, that? They are hard. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, that's. Uh, or oh, they're blue, so. <laughs> they. They. <laughs> they um, this raspberry. It says. Raspberry. Yeah. All right. Who goes first, Clint? Go yeah, I, I think we need to do all three at the same time. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, probably yeah. so. Uh, well, you know, here I'll just hold on to those. Just do three. Yeah, yeah there you go. You're gonna take one. Yeah, I'm just gonna. Hold Wait, you're you're gonna do. You might do multiple. No, I'm. Just, you know, well, I mean, if oh. they're good, maybe. There you we know? go. Just no I, I just didn't mean to pour three on my hand, but there it is, right here. Mega sour. Oh, it is really hard. Yeah, it's like <laughs> it's hard candy. <laughs> Stop it, Clint. <laughs> I know what you're thinking. <laughs> Excessive um, consumption within a brief period may cause temporary mouth and or stomach irritation. Cool. What? I, well, that's, that's acid coated. Right. <laughs> <laughs> acid. Yeah, that's what it says. <laughs> oh, that's that's straight great. up. But you know, acid. I, I, I will say this though: the warning label on this is nowhere near as intimidating as what's on the Death Nut Challenge and the One Chip Challenge. Yeah, this one doesn't look bad. Citric acid, malic acid. Yeah. Oh, and that's uh, that's the Death Nut. Death, that's yeah, what yeah, actually yeah, almost did me. That's in. spicy. Uh, yeah, what's, yeah. what's this one? Up I've to? had some spicy stuff like that and I hate it, bro. Yeah. I love spice, but I don't like spice. that's made to kill you. That's not this, fun. Oh, this yeah. was not a good time. This was me literally. I'm, uh, puking it out in the bathroom at the classic firearms warehouse, laying on the floor in the bathroom. And then Ryan coming in and saying, uh, I, I told him I was like, dude, I'm, I might need to go to the hospital. And, uh, he literally throws me some chocolate milk underneath the, <laughs> underneath the door in the bathroom. And I'm just laying in there and that, you have a video of that, don't you? Oh yeah. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, appreciate it, bro. Ryan's always the one like getting yeah. the videos of this. Like, like he's got oh, his own I, I think archive. He needs some milk. Yeah, he needs, he some, needs milk. some milk. <laughs> 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 so, so obviously, outside the warehouse is where we do some fun stuff, and um, you know, so in honor of that, because I'm sure this clip or something might get uploaded there. Um, so, so we just you know, hey, cheers, uh, guys. There you go. Cheers. Here All we right. go. See, See you guys yeah. later. <laughs> oh wow. Mm. Mm hmm. Mm. Why? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's intense. We didn't have to do this. <laughs> I'd rather have this than spicy, though. Y'all's eyes are watering, too. I can feel mine watering. Y'all's are turning red. What is in here? <clears throat> it's the acid. Yeah, it just tastes like I put poison in my mouth. Hey, you know Man, what you're your eyes oh, are oh. so red. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Yeah, they are. You know what's really funny, too, is our editor... Andrea, she has mm. a really bad thing about <coughs> ASMR and like mm -hmm. that right there. So I'm sure she's gagging right now. She's starting to edit this. You could edit this too. So we're like, we have all of our red eyes and you go, what's in this? And I go, it's the acid. And they're gonna be like, what did they do in Vegas? <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's perfect. We don't know. We're in Vegas. You know, that's actually not terrible. Mm. Well, it's gone now. It's gone. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It tastes like candy now. Yeah. That's really that's not all bad. you got, Ryan. That's oh, it. Got more. Oh, oh. I, I was, wait, 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 no. Is that like bottom of the barrel? Or not bottom of the We're not like doing more. We're good. <laughs> Sit <the>? down. <laughs> Sit your ass down. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Actually, I mean, once the acid yeah. goes away, you know, it's actually not wow. bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's good now. I thought this was going to just punch a hole through my tongue, man. Holy I God. thought it was going to be acidic the whole way through, and I was yeah. like, yeah. This, this is, is going to suck. This is going to be really bad. But yeah. yeah. Mm. All right, cool. I'm not mad about that. Yeah. Except now we just have to talk with this blue ball in our mouth. 
Oh man. So obviously, just, just go for it, dude. I will. <laughs> oh, he's breaking it, man. Oh man. I'll see so, him acidic in the middle too. Yeah, I was so we'll good. Go. All right, mm-hmm. thanks for taking one for the team. Mm-hmm. Man. Um, uh, so obviously, outside the warehouse, our classic firearms main YouTube channel. You know, and yeah, you know, we're super proud of that. You know, breaking that one million threshold. That really is really crazy. How long did it take you? So we've actually had the channel <clears throat> 11 years, 12, 11 years, something yep. like that. And Ben... Started in 2011-ish? Um, maybe. It's actually probably older than that. That's I when I started Demo Ranch was 2011. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. So it may be older than that. So Ben, who started Classic Firearms, um, you know, just figured he'd start uploading videos to help try to sell some of the product. Mm-hmm. And it worked, you know? <clears throat> Back when that was legal on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And still have that. I should probably just break <laughs> they it. They're still on there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, um, so he started it, and he would use it to kind of like you know market some stuff or whatever. And then um, they hired me on in uh, 2018 as the uh, warehouse manager, and I did that for a year. And then 2019, they put me in this position to kind of like start doing some more stuff in front of the camera. And then they brought Ryan in at the same time. And then we really started focusing on more content creation instead of like selling stuff mm-hmm. you know and as a business we still want to incorporate products and we'll talk about new products as it comes in but we'll also try to feature it in a way that's going to be like content i'll do it man I, i'm gonna go there we go <laughs> oh it's good bite, you're biting on that thing oh okay. yeah, dude. i got i got good dental um uh so you know we started that and um dude it just kind of took off and then what really actually like, set it over the edge was, was the coof mm. because then Here's the funny thing. Some of our, you know, most viewed videos were when we weren't working in the warehouse, they wanted to keep, keep the numbers down. Mm-hmm. So we took all of our camera equipment literally down the street to my house, put it up in the garage, and we started filming in my garage. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was during the summer, hot, <laughs> and, and, you know, that kind of kind of sucked. But, uh, but that's, you know, kind of once we started doing the content creation stuff, that's, and the giveaways obviously really helped. And that's what put us over there. So I bring all the different channels up because I know you've got a couple of different channels too. Mm-hmm. And um, so like, you know, you have Off the Ranch. And uh, for those that don't know, you want to kind of just take a dive into what Off the Ranch is? <clears throat> yeah, sure. I'm trying to think. So I'm trying to think what I, I started just kind of doing vlogs on Off the Ranch. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was just a kind of a, what Matt's doing behind the scenes, Demo Ranch. And then kind of uh, some people who I was working with were like, hey, you should try to keep guns off that channel in case Demo Ranch gets shut down ever. You have another channel. And so I really don't put guns on there at all. Um, sometimes I will if we're doing something that's cool or we're like, you know, working on the vault or whatever. But I try to keep them completely off there. We don't ever shoot on there or anything. Um, but yeah, it's just, it was kind of a vlog channel. And then we started doing some like home projects and stuff, building things. And then we like had this little rental house we started renovating and people like that. Mm-hmm. We did some car stuff. We were putting engines and things. And then I went big. Was that 2018, 2017? And I bought this property with this abandoned mansion. I was going to say, was it, it was the mansion. Yeah, there. that's when I like really was like, I think I can make this work. And I went hard and I, my wife, like, dude, God bless her. But yeah, I was like, I was like, hey, we'd seen this house. And I was like, that'd be so crazy to buy this someday, right? She's like, haha, yeah. And then later I'm like, man, we should totally buy that. She's like, haha, yeah. And then like, I would just wait a few weeks and I just kept pushing. And finally I'm like, hey, I want to actually buy that. And she's like, <laughs> okay, whatever. And I'm like, I'm going to wait another couple weeks. She's not ready. And I was like, hey, uh, here's why we should buy it. I wrote up a PowerPoint uh, with all the reasons. <laughs> like, here's here's how much I think it would cost. Here's how long it would take. I think I can get a lot of views. I think you should, I think we should do this. Like, let's do it. Let me do it. And she was like, you're going to do it either way. So I guess, let's, <laughs> I guess let's freaking do it. And we did it and worked out really good. So we just renovated that house. Uh, we were going to just flip it. And then we decided we should just move into it. And so that's awesome. We, yeah, I mean, it was such a dump and it was worse than we thought. Like the bones were not as good as we thought. Like there was a mm-hmm. lot of rot. And so we worked on it for three years and now it's all good. We've been living in it for a year now. And so it's, it's awesome. That is awesome, man. And I got to give you credit, man. You're good husband status, right? Cause, <laughs> cause you know, you can you, you, first of all, your patience, right? You're, you're just wait a couple weeks. Hey, we should buy that. Hey, we should buy that. You know, cause I, I would think at some point you'd be like, Hey, I bought that. No, <laughs> I, I actually, I bought one thing um, that she didn't know about. Like it was kind of, it wasn't big. It was a, it was $3,000, but it was a car. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a Volkswagen Beetle. Yes, it was. Yeah. So she, uh, that was actually real. People were like, was that fake? I was like, no, she really, she got actually mad at me on that one. But yeah, like she, her car, we only had two cars at the time that were, were drivable. 
and her car needed to go to the shop and it needed to be in there. It was getting suspension work or something. So they needed it for like two weeks. And I was like, I don't want to pay for a rental car for two weeks. So I was like, I'll just let her drive my truck and I'm going to buy some cool little car for cheap and then I'll sell it and probably make some money. And so I show up with this Volkswagen Beetle, 1971 Baja Beetle. Yes, dude. It was lime green with black stripes. Like, <laughs> oh man, it was sick. And she was like, what is that? And I was like, I bought it. And she was like, that's why, because she'd been calling me. She's like, did you get a rental car yet? And I was like, oh, I'm going to work on it. And she's been calling me all day. I was at the vet clinic. And she didn't know I took the afternoon off to go buy this car. And she kept calling me. And I was like, I don't want to spoil it. I don't want to tell her what I'm doing. And she'll say no. So I'm just going to show up with this car. <laughs> she can't argue with the math. Like, it's going to make more money than renting a car for two weeks. And she was pissed. <laughs> so I would never buy anything like that without telling her again. Or was she just more mad you didn't pick up the phone? Yeah, she, she was like, you lied to me. I was like, I, I never actually lied. <laughs> I didn't say I was going to rent a car. I said, I'm going to take care of it. I was like, I was very particular with how I did. said it. That's right. And yeah. she was like, that's lying. <laughs> <laughs> There's no winning that one. No. Yeah. But yeah, with the house, I was like, I mean, I'm not gonna. That was, I'm not gonna buy a house without telling my wife. But yeah, that would be. Uh, yeah. that no, would I just, be, I just yeah. ease into it. Like I, at first, I'm like, ha, ah, that's silly. I kind of make a joke out of it, and then like over the next two months, I just get more and more serious until she's like, fine, let's do it. <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, I'm, I mean, dude, I'm glad you guys did, right? Yeah. I, it, I, mean, I mean, now cool. like she looks back, she's like, yeah, that was a good call. Like, yeah. good job. Like she was worried about bankruptcy and stuff. Well, that's you know, I get that's a concern. Fair point. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But we didn't. Does she look back at the beetle and think that was a good, good call? No, nah, that was bad. No, nah, she hates that one. <laughs> you guys don't talk about that anymore. No, we don't. We don't talk about that. Don't. don't, don't yeah, you need to cut that part out. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That is the don't. Don't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So okay. So then. So you've got obviously demo ranch. You got off the ranch. You mm -hmm. still got vet ranch, right? No. So oh. I don't have that channel oh. anymore. So okay. I I was working with some other veterinarians, and once I sold my clinic, I let them take that channel too. So mm. um, yeah, they're they're awesome, and they. We're doing the same stuff I was doing, but so, so I sold my clinic two years ago. I think okay, I gotcha. was just, I was basically YouTube actually really made it hard to make vet videos as well. Wow, they really? started censoring everything. Oh, they were like, cool. they were demonetizing and making all my videos 18 plus if I showed any blood, which that's what I liked the most was I got to do this. Like, so my dad's a vet. And so when I was growing up, I got to go in there and watch him doing surgeries. And I thought so cool. And most kids don't get to see that. Like right. you don't get to go back to a surgery room and watch that. And so when I was a vet, I thought, well, this is a way that kids all over can watch what a vet does. And I thought it was so neat. You know, like this dog has a bladder stone that's this big and I'm going to go pull it out of its bladder. And so I would show that whole surgery on there and, you know, there's blood and guts everywhere. Like I'm pulling the guts out and it's so cool. And then they started demonetizing and making 18 up. So we're like, it just, they didn't get any views, shut oh, it yeah. all down and it just sucked. And so that, that made it hard. And so we started blurring everything and or not showing surgeries, and I was just bummed about that. But. Do, do you still practice? Um, no, I'm still a vet, but after I sold that clinic, I haven't haven't practiced. So, yeah, I still wow. have a license and everything. I just I don't use it. Gotcha. YouTube was more fun and more flexible, and so just went and did that. Yeah, that's unfortunate, you know, especially when you think about the education aspect of that. Yeah. I mean, because like you said, you know, when you were a kid, you used to go to your dad's and you see the surgery room, you see it taking place. Yep. And that inspired you to actually to get into it and like, oh, dude, I can help animals too. Yeah. I can do this, you know. The, and I think, you know, YouTube, unfortunately, I get that, you know, they don't want to, you know, they don't want blood and glut, guts and, and, and all that type of stuff. But at the same time, it's like coming from an edu education and, and Yeah. And that was, I mean, my videos were just educational. It wasn't like, yeah. wasn't showing blood and guts for blood and guts sake. Mm -hmm. Like it was There's just, no violence. we are doing a surgery and it was showing yeah. how I sew them up. And it was, I loved it. It was so cool. Ton of work, but it was really fun. And the, I mean, people love the videos, but they're mm -hmm. still doing them. They just can't show the blood and guts without being demonetized and being mm. totally restricted. Yeah. Right. So like I say, yeah, c completely unfortunate. And you know, you would hope that, you know, you as a kid, you got to see it. You would hope that maybe even, you know, other younger generations can see this stuff and be yep. like, dude, I want to be able to help help animals too. And you, you realize too, there's so many animal lovers. Like oh, yeah. I, I personally, I mean, I love animals. Yeah. I really oh, do. Yeah. Animals you and know. gun people cross over a lot too. Like animal yeah. lovers and gun lovers. Like there were tons of people that loved both channels. Yeah. So it was and, cool. uh, and, and I think that's kind of a, you know, a fun thing we can kind of talk about too, because people are like, well, how could you say that? And also be, you know, in the hunting. No. And uh, it's like, well, <laughs> you... You, a lot of people still consume meat and you get your stuff from the grocery store, yeah. which is far less humane yeah. than hunting. 
And like, you know, and what a lot of hunters strive to do is one preservation. Hunters are the, I, from what I understand, like the number one preser you know, preservers of different wildlife um, and different habitats, forest, and, habitats yep. and everything. Uh, so, which is really cool. Um, and then on top of that, you think, you know, these guys actually take it into a science. They want to make sure that their rifles are accurate. They want to make sure that they're zeroed and they want to make sure that they're using ammunition and stuff like that. That makes for a really clean and quick kill. They want to make sure that if they don't have that shot, they have the discipline to let go. Like, you know what? I don't want that animal to, yeah. to run and then die somewhere and I can't find it. And now it really did die for no reason. Yep. Right. And so it's like, you know, that's a whole different type of mindset. And then other than walking into the grocery store, seeing, you know, um, uh, you know, Betsy, the cow laying there that probably didn't live a great life. That was yeah. probably, you know, like stuck in a cage with a never bunch of ate other. grass that was yeah. growing in the ground. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's just, you know, a bunch of stuff. And then you don't know what you're putting into your body. Sure. Right. You know, and then instead of, you know, going out in the woods somewhere and you know, this, you know, one deer or whatever the heck it is you might be hunting has been, you know, living organically, probably a much cleaner diet than most people eat. And now all of a sudden you're going to be able to consume that animal and it's going to be a lot healthier for you. Yeah. You know? And, uh, and yeah, so yeah, me personally, animal lover, but at the same time, I like quality meat. <laughs> yep. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> right. <clears throat> oh man. But with that said, so yeah, so vet ranch was one that I, that I watched for a while too. And, um, uh, and that was, that was really cool. And, um, continuing on, uh, with everything else, YouTube and, you know, making it a little, a little bit harder, you know, like the magazine thing, we can go back to that too, because dude, you said you have 500 videos and I, we've been uploading for so long. I mean, I think we have about 12, 1300 videos on our channel. Yeah. And uh, well, that's, yeah, a, yeah, yeah. I, I, that's another thing is I'm like, how would I even go through and like watch them all to figure out if I violated it? Whereas like all of them are still getting views. And if someone sees a violation on one that I put up nine years ago, they can easily flag it and I might get a strike. Whereas like, I can't personally go through and watch all those videos. I mean, I could, but it's like going to take me a months of just watching my old videos, which would mm -hmm. suck for me. Yeah. <laughs> is this a new rule? Like, is this new or has it always been no. new? They're now enforcing it. So it's, it's, they, I think they first made the YouTube like firearms guidelines like probably five or six years ago. I, I might be wrong on that, but it's something like that. I mean, back eight years ago, there were no rules. It was like, oh, you right. can't show like murder and you can't show nudity. Right. And that was it common sense yeah and so like that's why i could do all the surgeries and everything there was no rules and then they just started saying any blood you know you can't show that any you know whatever uh bump stocks like those uh, like yeah. things like that all got you got in trouble and so they also said you can't show how to modify weapons you can't show homemade like making weapons you can't show how to make a weapon how to make a bomb anything like that which all right yeah i guess that makes sense but the rules now, they're just kind of, there's just a bunch of gray area, which they never really cared about. And now they're kind of acting like they might care about it and might be on the non-lenient side of the gray area, which is going to be hard for all of us. Right. I wonder what prompted that. Like, what happened? Did they uh -huh. get a new guy in there, a gal, or some incident happened that I don't know about? Like, yeah. something happened, I feel like, just recently. Well, one thing I and think is, is kind of funny is, you know, and you know, we're not going to be getting too political or anything like that, but the ATF putting out their, like, their, their brace ruling, right? Or, yeah. And then when the bump stock thing happened, yeah. you know, all of a sudden, you know, YouTube might be looking at that and like, oh, well, if, you know, a federal agency is putting out something like this, then yeah. maybe we should go and take a look. Because if you notice the pistol brace and then all of a sudden this is, you know, this has already been talked about quite a bit. Obviously, the assault on gun tubers happened, you know, just before the ruling. But then shortly thereafter, the ruling came out and it was like coincidence yes yeah. no maybe you know so i mean i don't know that might be an answer to a question but yeah. I mean, if anybody's listening and you do have the answer let us know down in the comments yeah well and the the that brace thing is just another like kind of gray area but this one's with the, the law you know mm -hmm. like it's like are we in trouble like what do we have yeah. to do and like what happens in the next what happens 120 20. days from yeah. now like whenever that is a law like i don't know it's just a it's a weird but i mean that's also how it's been with a lot of things over mm -hmm. the last decade. Like you just are like, man, what's going to happen? And then it settles and you know what the plan is. But for a while, it's kind of up in the air and you're wondering. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Obviously, it's not the funnest thing to talk about, yeah. but it is something that's affecting all of us, yeah. you know, and I think the more we talk about it, too, hopefully there's, you know, a couple of you guys listening or watching out there that might be like, oh, man, this really sucks. Maybe we should spread the word about this. Heck, yeah. you know, I can write a YouTube rep and be like, you know, or, you know, just at Google and say, you know, hey, you know, what the hell? I like watching yeah. these guys and you know, they've been on the channel for so long. They have, <laughs> believe me, these are law abiding people yeah. because we film everything that we do. Yeah, uh, we all have NFA items and those yeah. are like we, we want to make sure we are going to the letter of the law yeah and youtube's like yeah we don't care though yeah, i'm curious right? to see how it all turns out really yeah yeah, yeah. 
And and the other thing too is you're talking about <laughs> changing up mags. Um, Dude, yeah. that's crazy. I I can't wrap my mind around that one. Because let's yeah. let's think about like uh, we were we were talking. Um, uh, oh, who the heck were we talking about with it earlier? Uh, guns and gadgets. Yeah, gadgets. Yeah. yeah. Uh, he said. So what are we supposed to do then? If uh, what, what about Hollywood and all the trailers? Like, yeah. let's think about John Wick. How that is you? such a good point that I didn't yeah. even think about. Yeah. John Wick does it. He yeah. changes his it, mags. A lot of videos. Like yeah. a lot of movies. Look at him. They yeah. just do all kinds of stuff with yep. it. Yep. Yeah. So we're talking now like yeah. legitimate like Hollywood production and, yeah. and trailers yeah, to but the movies. But, but I mean they're trailers, they also show people getting murdered Absolutely. all the time. Yeah. And like so that's okay. How many, how many yeah. movies have you seen like the guy just Oh putting a suppressor on that's yeah. I mean, that's what I was on. talking to my YouTube rep and I was like, yeah. but everyone knows how suppressors go on. Like I could talk to a six-year-old in New York City who's mm. never seen a gun and be like, do you know how this goes on? He'd be like, screw it. You know, like, yeah, because yeah. like, yeah, everyone's seen a movie or a trailer or a cartoon or, or something. Or like, play COD. Yeah, it's like you watch it go, and it's on. And yeah. they're like, yeah, how do you, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Okay, so. <laughs> Kai, Kai's mind's wait getting video blown games. right now. There's a lot of video game video, uh, yeah. videos on YouTube and you're reloading like, yeah, that, that's seconds. that's a another perfect point. example yeah. yeah like why do yeah they're doing they're showing exactly how i was showing yeah but it's a video game it's like but they're still showing how the yeah. sus, the suppressor suppressor i can't talk <laughs> the suppressor <laughs> goes on so uh, yeah that's true it, they're not going to crack down on that i bet but yeah. it's it's silly to do one and not the other in right. my opinion no no it's no it's definitely you know i i think a, a good opinion to have a correct yeah. opinion you know because it's a little hypocritical if you ask me you're going to come after guys who literally are you know law abiding citizens we're doing everything we can to make sure that we're doing it right because we don't want to be breaking the law on camera yeah. and then that being yeah. as evidence used against us yeah. right um uh, you know and so some things can be kind of silly of course like again like the pistol braces where they say you know it can occasionally you know touch your shoulder or something so it's like okay cool so it happens right yeah so i mean the the rules youtube's rules also say like you can't show yourself making a homemade suppressor and it's like duh we don't yeah. want it we don't want felonies like we're <laughs> we're not gonna do that <laughs> like, right yeah we, that's a fine rule because yeah. that's the law <laughs> yes yeah and i don't think i do well in prison so no <laughs> <laughs> it's like those like i get the ones that are like yeah don't make your ar full auto in your garage okay yeah, yeah. i totally agree cool. good good rule so drill shouldn't go burnt yeah. yeah right yep. you know? all right cool get that like, get that yeah, get that we agree but like you can't show yourself putting the suppressor on or even it's actually anything you can't attach a flashlight technically by the rules you can't or a dot. you can't put your scope on there yeah, yeah like according to the rules which is like come on like you're showing someone how to put a scope on yes but like everyone I mean, clearly, whoever wrote it had no. And, yeah, and that's that's what it is. Is yeah. it's it's written by someone who doesn't understand. No. I I think, and that's why at the end it says. Also, this is not a full list of all the things you can't do because they're like we don't really know what else to say, yeah. so we'll say everything <laughs> else too. And yeah, catch all. Yeah. So I don't know. Yeah. Scary times. Open yeah. to interpretation. Yeah. Right? Yeah, and you know I think James Bond, right? James Bond, you. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. So many movies, dude. Like you see that guy Again, do that. Video games. I didn't even think about yeah. video games. That's such a yeah. good point because yeah. they do it so much in those. And you know, and our, everyone films it's themselves. so realistic. Too. Yeah. Like, dude, yeah. and our number one video, we got two some odd million views on it, and it's um, uh, it's the top ten guns from Call of Duty. Yep. Right. And uh, so we start off the video. You know, the very first intro is me shooting all ten guns, and it's just mag dump. Right, yeah. and we end it every time. Even if a Barrett's not featured, we're gonna end it with a Barrett, yep. you know, fifty cal yeah. standing, you know, just mag dump it because why the hell not? And um, dude, that's everybody loves that yep. because they're saying, oh man, I, I, this is the gun I use, and this is my number one choice in the video game, and it's wait, it's a real gun, cool. Wait a minute, you can actually own suppressors. Wait a minute, you you can actually own body armor and stuff like that's not all out and yeah. outlawed and illegal. And and then of course that takes off, you know, in Europe and stuff like that, where video game culture is really big, but actually owning firearms isn't. Yeah, you oh, know. Yeah. And so they're like, oh, dude, that's kind of cool. I would like to see the gun that I use every single day when I play COD in real life. And here we are. Yeah. And now you're saying the same guys that are streaming, let's say they want to stream on YouTube, they want to do all that type of stuff. Well, you're showing literally the same manipulation of real life firearms, but now in a animation. So Which what's is very the realistic too. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah. that's, it's well, Mr. Guns and Gear said that um, he was saying YouTube's reasoning, and I, I haven't heard this from YouTube, but this is what he heard, was that they have world, you know, it's like, he's like, yeah, YouTube says, yeah, you're following the laws of the United States, but these are going to the world and we have worldwide advertisers. And so we want to make sure they're all happy with this content. 
but it's like they're also like they have call of duty all over the world yeah like they're all they're all exposed to how suppressor goes on it's not like it's not like over in europe they're protecting their children from how to know how to put a suppressor on and so it's kind of a weak argument in my mind if that's a real argument i don't know yeah. i mean I, yeah. I didn't hear that directly but if that is which it probably is what they told him um i don't know that just seems kind of like a, yeah. a weird thing to the irony about. Be, yeah the irony behind it is is actually suppressors are more from what i understand in europe actually like like that's more pushed because it's a safety device hmm. you're yep. kind of considered like you know uncouth if you don't have a suppressor on your gun like if you're you know hunting or something like that you might be you know, might spoil your neighbor's you know hmm. hunt or something i didn't know that yeah dude like mm -hmm. i mean it's a suppressors over here for whatever reason are considered a firearm yeah can the only way i'm going to hurt somebody with a standalone suppressor is if i throw it at them you know some of them are heavy enough you could probably beat somebody with it but <laughs> but you know it's like dude i, I don't but you kind of looks at it as like a no uh, it's you know it's a polite thing to have yeah i don't know it's kind of funny if you ask me but um, yeah, that goes. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So anyway, going back to kind of some fun stuff. So, <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> so like all the like all the spicy food and everything we have behind us, all the sour stuff, um, are actually like fan scent stuff. Yeah. I don't know if they're fans, dude. I tell you yeah, what, maybe though, they tried to poison you. Yeah, yeah I, you even talk about poison. I uh, I got notification that we talked about guard dog body armor earlier. We did, yeah. They are fans, obviously, because. I like their product, um, uh, but they're great people. And they also sent me a text message the other day and they sent me a picture of that stupid Swedish fish thing that apparently smells really bad or whatever, you know? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, you yeah, haven't seen I, those uh, videos? Mm -mm. Bro, I'm not I am. I've eaten Swedish fish candy. Nope. These okay. are no, actual fish. It's like It's an actual Swedish fish. It's an actual fish. Sjöströmung. Look up the videos. Um, People apparently can't even get past, like, as soon as they open the oh. can, they're, like, like yeah. gagging, throwing up, stuff like that. Sweet. And all they did was sent me a picture and said, your next fan submission. <laughs> and uh, yeah. I'm like, oh, no. No, 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 no. Because we cannot. Nope. <laughs> that, I just I kind of reminded myself of, like, Cleveland there. No, <laughs> no. Um, uh, but I'm just thinking, dude, we cannot open that in the warehouse. That That's going to run everybody out. Well, where are we going to shoot the video? Outside. The warehouse. Nope. Get it? Nope. <laughs> God it says no. Nope. So just, just just to let everybody know here, yeah. we don't have it here with us today. We're not going to yeah. be like you know running everybody out of the hotel. God, like, dude, I, I, you never know. Dude. <laughs> yeah. I, after He's like one so chip, mad. I've, I have trust issues after the one chip. Yep. <laughs> Period. Yep. Oh, that's Go too on. good. But all right, so I bring up like the fan submitted stuff though, because I know fans have sent you things. Right? Oh yeah. Yeah. So what are some like what are some of your favorite things, hated things, strangest things that you've been sent? Man, we get weird stuff. Oh, I um, bet. We get homemade stuff. Some of it's really cool. We had a guy make us like uh, he was a blacksmith and oh. he made blacksmith like made body armor. It was really cool. Like he heat treated it all. It was like uh, it was like oxygen cylinders that he chopped up. Yeah. And then he made like dragon scales so it like was flexible. And worked really good, and it was awesome. Like some stuff is like like that's really cool. He put hours and hours into that. Um, but yeah, we get people sending us candy from their country. We've got you know bottles of liquor sent to us from people's like Irish whiskey straight yeah, from Ireland, yeah. that kind of thing. And like that's it's, awesome. we get a lot of cool stuff like that. Dude, um, speaking of that, the, in Finland there's this I don't know what this drink is. It's like black licorice, and all their candies are like black licorice and stuff too. But there's it's very salty. Have you, Salamaca, something like that. Mm. Have you heard of it? Mm -mm. All right, ever heard of a company called Varustalaika? No. Not in Finland. They're, um, they do, um, they're out here right now. They, they made me drink that Salamaki. And uh, they're like, hey, this is really cool. You know, it's black licorice. And I just drank that thing. All, like that could be a punishment. <laughs> like that should is be. It, is it alcoholic? It, oh yeah, it is. It Does is. it taste like Jägermeister? Mm, way worse. Okay. Oh, so and, and it's sucks. like <laughs> it's salty. Yeah. And then they're like, oh, you know what? Try out the um, uh, candy. Oh, They've no. got the uh, black licorice candy, and it's salty. I almost puked all over the place. <laughs> it is. So, and they're like, there's something wrong with you. I'm like, no, no, no. There's something wrong with you guys. And speaking of that, they do this thing called Finnish brutality every single year. Have you heard of it? No. They try to get a lot of influencers from here to go out there and do it and whatever, and they do it over here. And they're like, they're crazy. They're like in shorts and t-shirt. They're like in ice, just shooting guns. 
Crazy. Okay. But, huh. But yeah, they literally like you may get calls. Uh, call on that one too. Oh, did you? Did you? Did you? Did you put my name in there or something? No, they'll. <laughs> they, I hate the cult. I know. <laughs> yeah, no, they do like the Grantham and Forgotten Weapons, James Reese, like all these. They're getting those guys to do it. So they've and a bunch of other influencers, whatever. But they do it in the snow, like in in water in Finland winter. Hmm. They're crazy. That is crazy. But they're fun. Well, Shout I mean, I wouldn't say no, you know, I mean, I, I'd try it. Would you try it? I'd probably say no. You'd probably say no? <laughs> 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 if it was in the U.S., maybe. But oh, yeah, oh, yeah, they, yeah. They fly. They'd probably fly you over there. But Finland's I'm telling far. you, I don't know if I would. The, uh, YOLO. That's <laughs> YOLO. <laughs> I mean. Dude, are you talking to the guy who did the Death Nut Challenge, One Ship Challenge? I mean, I'll. Uh, dude, I was about to say you something. Got two more blue balls over there. I, I, wasn't, <laughs> I did almost say I'll put just about anything in my mouth, and that that really and I was, and I wound up saying it anyway. Um, uh, so anyway, going back yeah. to what people send you, um, uh, so I got something weird once. Oh yeah, what'd you get? Uh, it was just an envelope, and in it was a tiny C clamp, like a little tool, you know, a little okay. C clamp. Yeah. And no note, and so I op- I was opening mail on video. I used to open mail on video a lot. I should start doing that again, but uh, I was just opening. I was like, I don't know. This is just a C clamp, and there's no note. This is weird. I don't know. It's just a tiny C clamp. That's all I said. So then like a week later, another C-clamp from someone else showed up and then another one. And then people started thinking it was funny. And so like I got hundreds of (laughs) C-clamps from just my fans because because I was like so dumbfounded. Like, why is there a C-clamp with no note? And Beverly's like, that's funny. I've got a C-clamp. I want to mail it to Matt. And so I just have. So now I've got like hundreds of C-clamps like ranging in size from like teeny tiny to like giant ones people people thought it was hilarious dude you know what you should do man get like an author a, a certificate of authenticity yep you know and just sign it and you know they're, they're gonna put it up on ebay there you yep go. <laughs> <laughs> pay for ammo <laughs> you got a p.o right. box that they're yeah we used our, to have a p.o box and yeah. uh, now we just ship them all to our warehouse but yeah gotcha yeah, yeah. that's cool man so um uh, so recently by the way uh we were talking about call of duty earlier uh we can't not talk about the 360 no scope and uh. perhaps the m200 intervention <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah. That was so, sick. Do you like it? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, all right. So here's here's the funny thing about this. So we reached out to Shy Tech. We actually went to an event that was held right outside of Charleston, South Carolina. I think it was a couple of years ago, and we knew that we wanted one of these guns. Yep. Uh, so it's pretty much like so many years in the making, um, and finally we got ours, which is now in your possession. Mine. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and so we were like, dude, we, we got to do something cool with this. You know, we took it down to Texas Plinking. We shot at it. We shot with it some, you know, and just had some fun with it. Um, uh, and then, um, you know, again, you know, Robbie, our vice president of marketing, hits us up and says, hey, you get to part with that uh, 200? I'm like, <laughs> what? I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Like, we, we just got it. I, I want to play with it, and you know? I, and I wanted to shoot it. Like, when I yeah. first got to Classic Fire Arms, I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, I want to shoot that thing. And I never did. Yeah. Oh, and uh, he's bummer. like, he's like, well, you never will. I'm just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, well, you know, Matt, uh, he 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 wants it. I'm like, oh, damn it, Matt. Fine, whatever. I guess I'll just pack it up again, you know. <laughs> and uh, so, but you know, so we've got that uh, that giveaway coming up. If it's you know, depending on when the podcast come out comes out and everything, we've got a you know a cool collaboration there. And SciTech, I actually reached out to him. I was like, hey guys, I know it took you 11 months to build this gun for me. Can I get one more? <laughs> Can I get one more in like three months? And they all, they all, I get an email back that said, like, like I could hear the, I could hear the, uh, oh, fine. Yeah, you know? <laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, well, look, we're, we're working with um, another gun tuber, and it would just be really cool if we could have like two M200, uh, M200 interventions. And um, so uh, my contact over there, she's, she responds and she's like, okay. Um, that is a big ask. How much ammo do you want? I was like, you know, another 80 rounds. And it's like, okay. Cause they, 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 they make to, yeah. you know, make to order the ammo too. Yeah. And it's the 408 shy tech, you know, there's also the 375 shy tech, but we wanted a big boy. So we got the 408. And so uh, my contact over there says, so when do you want it by? And I was like, I don't know, maybe February, you know? Um, uh, and uh, she's like, can you, what about March? And I was like, what? what? I was like, first of all, I was like, I was sure. really expecting, I was <laughs> yeah. really expecting like a no, right? Um, uh, and uh, so I was like, how about March? I mean, I think we could do March, right? Yeah, so we'll um, squeeze it. <laughs> yeah, right. So right I now, guess it's, we can make that work. Yeah. yeah. So right now it's January nineteenth. Uh, we're at Shot Show, you know. So hopefully by March, we're gonna have two M two hundred interventions we can play with. Uh, but dude, so you've shot it now. I've shot it. And uh, if you guys saw our video on that, Kai has not I shot did. it. Kai I was just going to say, <laughs> Kai has not shot it. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay, dude. We've got another one. We got 80 rounds coming through. I'll let you shoot one round. I want it in February. 
<laughs> so, um, so, but dude, so I, so something really funny in my review of the gun, I noticed that the magazine would actually kind of like fall out. Yep. And, um, and so, you know, if it was fully loaded when I shot it, so, you know, I, I showed that on, uh, cause I want to be honest, I want to be transparent, but I also want to be fair to the manufacturer, you know, I'm like, Hey, here's, here's what was happening. And, uh, they saw the video. They said, dude, the video is getting some views. We really appreciate your honesty and your transparency. And in that video, I actually took a rubber mallet and I hit the magazine and it just popped out. And then I went to some other guns and hit the other ones too, you know, and I was like, dude, they're, they're, they're all staying in, you know? And so shy uh, said, you know, we want that gun back by the way, all of our gunsmiths. And she sent me a video. All of our gunsmiths are taking metal mallets to all the guns in the warehouse that they're currently manufacturing and saying, we want you to know that this was actually overlooked. This was an issue. We can fix it. It's a 15 minute job, you know, but you're saying you shot it and you, you've had good luck with it. Yeah. I mean, the mag comes out if you hit it, like yeah. y'all told us this, so we hit it, but just firing it never fell out one time. So I, I'm just bad luck, dude. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I did a 360 no scope with it and yeah. didn't fall out. I was dancing. I was, we were running with the gun and it didn't yeah. fall out. You know, we had a full mag and we're running with the gun bouncing around never fell out but if you smack it from the back yeah it'll knock it right out so it, it is loose but it, it's not crazy loose yeah well okay well good news is though shy tech says if you have a problem they're going to take care of it they'll send you a shipping label and all that stuff and, bi yep. and big kudos to them because they they actually said you know we watched the video we loved it we appreciate your honesty and transparency so i was like dude that's cool yeah that's really cool you know and they, they were ready to send us a shipping label and stuff like that to take care take care of it but they were like so who's the influencer or, or the uh, gun tuber or whatever that you're working with some loser yeah and i was like i I don't know you may have never heard of them demo ranch and like yeah we'll we'll try to get that by march <laughs> <laughs> so i thought that i thought that was really really cool but yeah so you shooting it man i mean everybody that's seen this thing i mean it's a powerhouse oh yeah yeah I and mean, in the 408 that's we that's, i mean i've got sweet. some really cool guns and I, I invited some people over to shoot that and they were like freaking out more than anyone's ever freaked out over some guns like i was like yeah it's just a sniper rifle it's an yeah. m200 intervention yeah. they're like yeah. what, what? <laughs> Yeah, you never played Modern Warfare before, have no. you? You know, yeah. So, dude, that that's so cool. Um, uh, how many rounds do you have left? Uh, I think we actually still have like twenty rounds, so we're we're doing all right. Okay, all yeah, right. I have more. I have a three seventy five Shy Tech too. Oh, do you? Yeah, I, didn't know that, I have no. a Desert Tech. Um, oh yeah, yeah. yeah. What is it called? The uh, HTI. HTI, yeah. yeah. In three seventy five and. That's hard to find ammo for that too, so mm -hmm. I need to, I need to make a, an order and get a bunch of both of those. Um, what I can do too is I'll um, I'll hit up Shy Tack and you know I, I guess you know since you were nice enough to come to the podcast today, I think we'd be okay with buying you some ammo. All right. What a deal, dude! So you wow. know, just just throwing got, it out there. Got sour blue balls <laughs> and, and some ammo out of this. I love it. <laughs> so so for our listeners right now though, yes, we are planning if not happening like right now, if we coordinate you know the podcast and the release of all this, we are planning on giving away our. 408 uh, M200 intervention. And yes, we will send some ammo as well. We're not going to send it all to Matt. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Um, uh, so, but we'll, we will do that. And then we also sent you another gun. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we, so we actually sent you the, the first yeah, gun. I sent us a few guns. Yeah. So the high points, the Gallant. Yep. Remember that one? Yep. I remember the hot tub? I forgot that's where I got that one from. Yep. Yeah, yeah, that's oh, right. You're welcome. I'm so sorry. That was years ago. <laughs> yes, I've had that Gallant a while. Yeah. Um, uh, the, I, the hot tub picture. You remember you, you were in the hot tub with the gun. Which and, hot tub was and people were tagging. Oh, oh yeah, I do yeah, remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. Yep. People were like tagging and I, I had me. the ghillie suit on, right? Yes. Yes, that's right. <laughs> and uh, and so people thought that it was me because we just did the Galant uh, yeah. launch. And so I'm getting tagged of this and everything. It's like, funny. dude, why are you hanging out with Demo Ranch? You're like, I was like, that's not, that's Matt. <laughs> That's not me. I was like, thanks, so. I mean, I'll take the compliment. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so the, you had the Gallant. We got the high points, dude. And then uh, one that I think a lot of people are going to be ex excited about, in addition to the M200, is... You also the, did the, before you say what you're about to say, is the, the Barrett. Oh, oh, yeah, dumb. Yeah, the, the M82 <laughs> wow. is from you guys. <laughs> yeah, the Barrett. I, I had forgotten about the Gallant, but yeah, Barrett, high points. Yeah. And the, yeah, y'all got me all, I think there was 10 of those... Regular high points, the Yeet Cannon. Yeah, the Yeet Cannon. And then the Barrett M82. Yeah. yeah, obviously his most prized ones were the high points. Definitely. Yeah, yeah of I mean, course. I, I still have them all. They're yeah. just in a bunch of pieces now. <laughs> like we, we blew them up with the Barrett. Yeah, actually. with the Barrett. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, man, the, the irony is perfect. Um, uh, but yeah, so, but the Sig Spear LT. I'm excited. Oh, I haven't yeah. shot it yet. But you haven't I'm shot it yet? No. Oh, I kind of want to make that my, like, my gun, like my home defense gun. Dude, like, that thing's cool. Oh, it yeah. is. Oh, and it's I went really neat. Really cool, I yeah. went so ridiculous with it. You see, yeah. you see the Steiner D ball D2. Yeah, I'm going to pull some of the stuff off. It's got a lot of stuff on it right now. Well, if you don't want to just send it back to me, I'm sure. I'll find a use 
news for it, you know? I mean, I'm the type of guy that if I see like a rear takedown pin, oh, time to start a new build, you yep. know? So so if you got another, you know, Steiner D-ball laying around, might as well start that's, another that's night vision. That's true. Yeah. That's true. So do you have any type of night vision or anything? No, but I decided oh. after, after seeing that thing, I was like, I need to put that. I have an LMT... Um, oh, 308 and I was like yeah. I need to make that my night vision gun I think that'd be that, really cool that D-ball D2 on there would be, be so nice. good yeah pretty hot yep. um, uh, you know I will ask you though you know when you, when you do the video with that and everything you know I made a clone so we have the exact same yeah, that, I haven't LT. pulled anything off yet because yeah. I knew you had a clone yeah man because uh, we ran a video with that there was the two of us yeah. me and Kaya dude so Kaya you shot it though oh yeah dude, dude. it's it's phenomenal shoots I'm good jealous. Yeah. Oh, incredible. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, they, they did a really good job. I watched job. some reviews on it, too. I really haven't shot mine at all yet, but I watched some reviews on it, and everybody loves it. And I'm like, this is the gun. It feels so good. Yes. We ran and gun with that thing. Really? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Ran and gun. Yeah. Yeah, we did, like, an entire, like, uh, we, he and I did kind of like a, a two-man team, like, assault element. Yep. And, you know, contact right or contact front, and then it's buddy rushes, absolute ridiculousness. Moving, covering, and all that good yeah. stuff, yeah. Yeah, it was fun. It was a fun thing to do. The, there's obviously, you know, there's an entertainment factor to that type of shooting, yeah. you know, because because, mm -hmm. you know, there's there's things, too, that we wouldn't do in the real world, you know, yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. But I at hope, the same you, time, did, hope you didn't reload a 30-round mag. Multiple times. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to be the uh, level-headed one here. Yep. Oh, oh, yeah. No idea. Yeah, yeah. No idea. <laughs> That's okay. I'll, I'll be I'll be the off-the-wall <laughs> guy and, and do reloads. You know, <laughs> forgive me. Oh, my goodness. But, it's yeah. Like the Hollywood man. I don't do any re reloads. Yeah. Just, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure. yeah. But the Spear LT, I think you're going to like it. And, oh, um, yeah, I think so. So... So yeah, so building it out to be kind of like your home defense gun or um, uh, your, your mansion defense gun, you know, yep. so that's cool. That, that's so badass. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Dude, that, I think you're going to love it. Yeah. So first of all, the optic on there, that's the SIG Tango 6. It's the yep. 1 to 6. And that's actually a military contract optic. Uh, that specific one on both of the both mm -hmm. of the rifles, which I guess the one we have, of course, I, is, is going to be given away too, sadly. Um, but uh, it's a actually military overrun contract uh optic and it is solid yeah yeah so i think you're gonna like that of course it's already got um you know it's already set up for a sig suppressor you know if you wanted to run that too and i talked to sig because i tried to remove the muzzle device oh, and it is hard oh, they really? actually they actually use rock set and he told me uh, he said um they told me yeah. i called customer service and they made sure that um uh, all this information was passed to the reps and everything uh because they're like hey clint yeah there's rock set on that um, instead of applying all of the pressure in the world, uh, just let it sit in lukewarm water for yeah, like warm it up know, a little. Yeah, you know, just set it mm -hmm. not to say. And I used a propane torch on it too to try to oh, yeah. heat it off. No, um, uh, you know, because huh. I've done that on uh, you know like red Loctite muzzle yep. devices, comes right off after that. I tried that. I was thinking maybe they just put Loctite on there. No, so I was like, okay, well, I don't want to like cause any problems here. So I called Sig and uh, and then I got an email back and everything, and they're like, uh, yeah, dude, um, just. Let it soak in some warm water for a little bit. I was like, "Are you serious?" I said, "Yep." It's so strange. And it worked. Oh, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> that, that seems like it wouldn't work if yeah. a torch didn't work. Yeah. But, huh. I don't know. It's something about the water getting in there and actually penetrating. I I don't know. I have no idea. But I haven't tried it yet because I quite simply haven't had the time because we're here at Shot Show now. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I was like, I just thought that was that was kind of cool. So setting that up as your home defense gun, you yeah, know, it'd be sweet. So I know you, so you've done your, your firearms collection. Yeah. We've all seen that video. And, um, if you could say your favorite gun, your number one gun, your favorite gun, hands down, what would it be? Pistol or rifle? Just, I don't know. People always ask mm, me that question. That's so yeah, hard. I know, dude, I know. And I, and I figured I just want to do it here because why the hell not? Yeah. Cause there's like, <laughs> There's like my favorite if I just want to go shoot, but yep. there's also like my favorite that I know like will be really cool on video or, you know, like whatever. All um, right. Well, you know what? What's your favorite one if you want to just go shoot and have fun? Hmm. I'm trying to think. So I think, uh, I think I like shooting just a nine millimeter pistol. Doesn't, yeah. I'm, I don't, it doesn't, I'm not particular. Like I like Berettas. I think they're really fun and yeah. pretty. And, but like, that's not the gun that's my home defense gun. Like mm -hmm. I, I don't want to, I don't want to hammer and a safety and all that stuff but i like shooting berettas um but like yeah like i have glocks for my home defense gun yep. so like I, I don't know i i shoot everything though 2011s are so fun to yeah. shoot but also not my home defense gun yeah. because they have safeties and hammers and i don't, I don't want any of that you <laughs> know? Don't want any i of want that. it to be as simple as possible <laughs> if i'm stressed you know yeah 
And so, yeah, it's like, I don't know. They're so fun. Like, but also just like looking at guns. Like I have mm-hmm. guns cause I like collecting them too. So I, I like my really pretty 1911s and 2011s. Like those are so cool. And those are the ones I want to show somebody when they come over and that kind of thing. But then I also like, uh, I mean, but then, yeah, the most exciting on YouTube is like my gold bear at 50 cal with a suppressor on it. Like, that's <laughs> so cool. You know, yes, or my, ma- I have a Madus and like that one's so fun. Yes. But like, if I'm just going to go shoot by myself, I'm not going to go shoot a Madus by myself. Why like, not, man? Yeah. This, this is America. Yes. If you want to do that, you do that. It's so much work. <laughs> <laughs> I got to like load it up. And yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't know. I, I, I have like, I don't know, 40 favorite guns. Probably. Oh, dude, that's awesome, man. And, <laughs> and, and you know, here's a solution to your loading up the Madus or whatever. Dude, just buy an old 1940s Willis. I have a please? 1981 um, Toyota pickup, and oh. I put a mount on it. And so I have a technical, and yes. I put my Madus on it, and oh, I just God. drive around shooting my Madus. That as as you should. And then I got a fake one that I leave on there when I drive around town, and I'm like, I'm going to go park at Home Depot, and I just leave the fake <laughs> one on there. Yeah. And people walk by, and they're just like, ah, it's got to be fake, right? But they're like, oh, but it God. looks real. <laughs> Have you American ever been pulled thing. over with it on? No, and I, I actually, I, I figured I would. Like, I started doing it a few months ago, and I was, like, going to film. Because, like, I'm sure I'm going to get pulled over. No, but, but I live in Texas. No That's one cares. That's what I'm saying, man. I got to move down there. Yeah, but there were these cops, and they were, yeah. they were on, like, a street near my house, and they were doing all this stuff. And I was like, I'm going to pull over. I was driving the technical. I was like, I'm going to pull over and ask them what's going on. So I pull over, and I'm like, <laughs> what the technical? This like? cop's just walking down the street, and I just roll up with a Madus on the roof <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> in my tiny Toyota. And I'm like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, there's you know a missing person we we're looking for, and blah blah blah. And, um, he's just, I was just kind of chit chatting with him, and he was like, well, I think I think we know where they went. And I'm like, all right, cool. And just a really chill conversation. And he's like, all right. And I'm like, all right, man, thanks. And I just drive off. And I'm like, he didn't even ask me what? about the gun on my yeah. roof. He didn't say one thing. <laughs> like, and he's standing oh above the top of my truck because it's a Toyota, and it's like right here. Yeah. And he's just, just sitting there chatting. He's like, yeah, it's a, just a regular Texan, dude. It's a, just um, another day in Texas. Yeah. I'm just or, trying to figure out how I would react if I was a police officer. Somebody just came up. The good thing about it is it's not like, I mean, everybody looks at it and they're like, that that would be dangerous if someone was holding on to it, but no one's holding on to it, you know? So it's just like, it's not threatening in a way, yeah. but it is kind of because <laughs> it's a freaking Madus. <laughs> I don't know. Wow. That's incredible. We, drove, we drove it through the parade too, like in our Christmas parade. We wrapped lights around it and stuff. And yes, my, my little town loves that kind of stuff. That's that <laughs> is awesome, dude. That, that is awesome, man. Yeah. Well, I got to say, dude, this is this has been an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Uh, Thanks ha- for having me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. absolutely, man. Having you on here. Of course, we've talked about some more serious stuff, things that are that might be affecting our, our jobs, essentially. Yeah. You know, I'm uh, here really soon about YouTube and stuff like that. So for those of you that are listening, uh, we hope you've enjoyed it. But we also are kind of asking for your help, too. You know, um, uh, share this type of stuff. Subscribe if you're not subscribed. And of course, if by chance there's somebody listening um, uh, that doesn't know where to find Demo Ranch, where can they find you, Matt? Uh, easiest place is YouTube. That's where I am the most prolific. Um, so yeah, it's youtube.com slash demolition ranch and, uh, and off the ranch is my other channel, but yeah. demolition ranch is my bread and butter. So yeah. yeah. That's awesome, Dude. man. And, uh, so yeah, so drop us, uh, you know, drop us any comments down below, you know, if you'd like to see, um, <clears throat> if you'd like to see Matt try a spicy chip challenge or something, you know, oh God, yeah. don't, <laughs> I'll never come back. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we, we would love to have you come back. So, um, uh, scratch that maybe. Uh, but yeah, but if you'd like to see some other stuff, have you tried, have you tried the chubby bunny challenge? Uh, that's where you put marshmallows. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I did that. Yeah, did, a long time ago when I was yeah. a kid. Yeah. Oh, and when you were a kid? Yep. Yeah, I did it when I was thirty. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Which I mean, that's just the number, right? You're like that's 12, just a number. Yeah, my men- my mental state. Yeah, it's far less. About twelve. Mm, okay. Yeah, thereabouts. Yeah, <laughs> thereabouts. But yeah, but so then, man. Again, Matt. Thanks so much. Yeah, dude. man. Thank you. Yeah, dude, absolute I pleasure. I want that T-shirt. Everybody does. It yeah. Just came out with it. My, all right, so first of all, it's a uh, picture of what it looks like a it looks like a honey badger. It is a honey badger. How about yeah. that? And my SBR identifies as a pistol. Yeah. <laughs> Where do I get it? Uh, bunkerbranding.com. Oh, yeah, oh we're, we're selling right. them. There How about that? Wouldn't know anything about bunker branding, right? Yep. 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 Promote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Push uh, everything. Yeah. <laughs> so, well, first of all, bunker branding. I bought the um, uh, you know, uh, oh man, give it give it a thumb. Got oh it. yeah, yep. put a it's thumb a, in it. Put a thumb in it. Yep. Yep, for, for Kentucky ballistics yep. and uh, and Scott, you know, and I actually have a pretty funny funny um, picture. It's me at drill, and underneath my digital woodland camouflage Marine Corps uniform, I'm opening with mustache. It, I'm, uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> really? I'm opening it up, and it just says "just put a thumb in it," you know, oh, and it's funny. really it makes sense for the Marine Corps. Uh, <laughs> <but> <laughs> 
<laughs> and so give her the old Kentucky yeah. plug. And, uh, and, yeah. that's, and, and that's that. But anyway, guys, if you'd like to see a part two or hear from Matt some more or see him shoot, shoot some cool things, do a 360 no-scope with two M200s, that's going to be heavy. Giddy up. Yeah. That, I'm pretty strong into it. Let's yeah. go. Yeah. All right, dude. Challenge accepted. <laughs> I'm not going to let Kaya shoot that one either. <laughs> dude, it's it's going to be really funny when the next one shows up and Matt's there to receive it. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, man. So oh, that'll man. be a good time. But yeah. anyway, so again, thanks, Matt. We appreciate it, guys. Yeah, God you. bless everybody. And of course, you can find us at the CF Podcast. See you next time.